Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bouncer here, and I'd like to say I'm finally back. Today I'm gonna go over something. This is the Tay Master and Pixelated Candy drama. If you never heard of this drama, sit back and relax and get a cold drink or beverage, get some popcorn, and enjoy me speaking. You even will enjoy me speaking. Just as a disclaimer before you start watching, do not go out of your way just to harass these people. The first screenshot I'm going to be looking at is a tweet that Taymaster sent out. And this tweet says, My wife pixelated candy cleaned out our bank account, plans our taking our house, left me with nothing but $138, and my car to drive home to Canada. If evil exists, it's deeds like this that really breaks a man. I don't know what to say anymore. I feel bad for the guy. Imagine getting your savings and your house getting taken away from your wife. But the second screenshot, which has Bism in it, here's what her tweet says. You need me to go back to 2015 and dig out those conversations we had on Skype about her? I can. They prove you were underage when she pursued you and you continued to lie out for the duration of your relationship. You married her under false pretenses. I also want you to know. Here's something unusual, and then you have Tay Master saying, Shut the fuck up, Beism. That's pretty harsh, but here's something I'd like to mention real quick. If you see this screenshot, you might be able to see why did Tay Master's grammar change? And also, didn't it say it was taken in May 10th, not May 9th? Here's what I think. I think the person that took this screenshot either used Inspect Element or Photoshop. It could have been both, but the thing is, I think you're just trying to put hate on Bism. But here is what makes my claim invalid. The official Conigo Kitten responded to her tweet saying, Wait, so you tried to warn him and he made sure y'all couldn't communicate? This is so wild, dude, what the fuck? Since I was looking at research, I found Scrimzox. Scrimsox went to Pixelated Candy's Twitter, and then he found this glorious tweet. I'm so tired of the people who flat out act like disrespectful children for absolutely zero reason. Dunn doesn't even begin to describe how over of people's immaturity I am. According to Scrimsox, this was a day before Taymaster sent out the tweet. But the thing is, this is like when you're trying to move a chess piece without seeing what could happen in the future and how you could lose the game. Well, it seems like she didn't see what would happen. If this was because that she got tempered about something, and that's the reason why you ruined Taymaster's life, you should honestly go to anger management classes. But what really pushes my buttons the most? Taymaster is the creator of Twisted Murderer. Me and my brother used to play that so much. That was a part of my childhood. And then here's another tweet that Scrim found. Imagine being evil and hurtful for the people there for you. The amount of irony within this tweet just triggers me so much. But then again, I can't make these videos by just pointing the finger at a single person. I don't know, but I think it might be because that Taymaster might have done something to her that she just posted that tweet in just pure anger. I was shocked when I was looking for screenshots of this. I actually found this. It was a screenshot of Taymaster himself saying, Sorry, it's just not true. I'm just upset. I messed up. Though with my two eyes, it looks like to me that the number for the likes is kind of offset. But then again, the numbers for the likes or retweets can actually move. Like it's a live counter. One thing I'd like to point out, he was on a phone. Not when that tweet was posted, but he was on a phone posting those during the conflict. This leads me to believe is that not only was Taylor on his phone, he also said that 
his money was drained out of his account. He was given $100 and his card to go to Canada. Which leads me to think that he might have gone to Canada. Then she got all of his logins from his old computer. Which there's three plausible reasons. The first reason is she might have used Tay Master's account as like an empty husk to defend herself from the backlash that she was getting. The second reason is this might actually be Tay Master, but I kind of doubt it. Because the last surviving tweet of Tay Master right now says, Quit the death threats to my wife. Not needed and inexcusable. Do not contact her. Don't mention her. Do not defend me. Everything is under control. This was actually on his iPhone, like the rest of his tweets. But the thing is, why would he post a tweet on his computer just to delete it four hours after the one talking about death threats from his wife? Another notable mention is that the tweet that was sent by iPhone actually had grammar. Like there was apostrophes in the right place. But for this tweet, he doesn't have any of those apostrophes. It's missing on it, I'm, and that's it. This sounds like a stupid claim to blurt out in some situation that's really serious. But trust me, it's going to be useful in the future because that's how I tell if something's not right. But don't take my word for it. Yeah, I accidentally forgot about the third one, but the thing is, I actually didn't realize this. But the thing is, people actually figure this out too. I actually didn't realize that people had the exact same opinion as me. This is how I knew my theory was right. Just a couple minutes after, you see Tay Master just changing his grammar to an even lower quality saying, I honestly, I'm not a good man. And then on top of that, we have this rather interesting tweet that's x x x x x x x x x x x x x one 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 one. I know this is like a five day old drama, but I'm not gonna just listen to Tay Master saying to not mention her when this is happening and that this actually exists. It was once a real tweet. And Kaniko Kitten, thank you for this paragraph I'm gonna read. This is not sarcasm because I just wanna try to not stutter a lot and try not to edit a lot. Gonna be raw, the Taymaster situation shouldn't have been on Twitter. Lawyer up and see what you can do. Bringing a very personal situation to the publicity of a children's gaming community only makes it way worse, IMO. This isn't some petty RTC drama, it's actually damaging. Out to the respect for both parties, I will not be making a video regarding that. Too personal and overall not my place. I don't know either of these people, thus it feels immature to spread that further than it needs to be. You see, I actually like Kaneko Kitten's videos, and this is also why I like him. He knows what situations to not put himself in, because he might get backlash from it, and he could lose subscribers. Now I shouldn't be going into this zone, because I'm a very small channel with only like 100 subscribers, and literally all of you could just be unsubscribing right now and start dissing on me. But the thing is, thanks to my boy Scrimzox, found out a tweet made by Taylor Sterling in November of 2019 that says, don't believe anything that Pixelated Candy says on my Twitter. Now, I bet the people that believe in time travel are gonna say, he actually went in back in time and actually predicted the future. But this could really be like, Pixelated Candy might have gotten mad or they had an argument between them in November of 2019 and that 
Pixelated Candy might have said something that kind of made T Taylor Sterling or Taymaster to actually send out this tweet. But this might show that she might have actually had access to his accounts. Because you can just go on someone's computer and then just start typing random things or get them banned. I went to re-look at um, Scrimzox's video to take a look at this joke tweet that I wanted to put in my video. You can tell I'm definitely talking a lot about Scrimzox. Just to be clear, I just want to say that sometimes I have to re-look at the videos that I researched on so that um, I can get a clear view or a clear voice to be heard. But credit to Scrimzox for some of these things. Because usually the things that I took from his channel, I'm usually giving him credit for. Like, those tweet discoveries and stuff. But here's what the tweet chain says. You poor girl, I'm so sorry. JK, I don't know if poor is the right adjective. And then, the Taylor girl is just... <laughs> dying over here from laughter laughing my fucking ass off i realized just this many minutes into the video i'd like to say i'm sorry for mentioning like four hours longer this is actually from a different time zone and um i'm in the new york time zone right now and um yeah so what it really means is that it came out or the tweet came out an hour after those tweets but then again, thanks for Scrimzox again for showing me this tweet. Jaden says, I don't know if this is a stretch, but she could have caught to, on to the Twitter web app thing and switched to an iPhone. That's actually a pretty valid and good theory. Applause to you, my friend. But oh, Jaden. You forgot to mention one thing. You forgot to mention about the grammar change. You remember those other times where that the grammar was getting lower, lower and lower in quality after each tweet? Yep. That's for sure you forgot to mention that. But applause on you for finding that out, but the grammar thing is still pretty important. For some people, they'll see what I'm talking about, but I don't know how to explain it. And one more thing: what if this was be what if this was all set up by his wife? None of this happened. Maybe Taymaster must have been somewhere or something, and then she decided to make drama. This doesn't seem plausible, but then again, we really do not know. Like, he could have been somewhere. We don't know if he might have been murdered, and then she took control of his account and then decided to make drama. We literally do not know. But my theory is very unlikely. So please don't take my word for it, guys. I'd like to also say that his account was originally deactivated. For some reason. Right now, today, his account was deactivated. I don't know how long it was deactivated for, but... Did Pixelated activate his account again? I don't know, but... That's my best theory. There's no way. Because I was checking on my Twitter right now. Like, I actually am, and his account is not deactivated. The real account is actually activated right now. So I don't know what's happening. It might still be continuing, but we'll just have to see. If this is real and that the guy is really gone, then I'm never gonna forget this person. 
They provided, he provided me something fun to play when I was bored as a child. Something new to interact with in 2014 or whenever it was released. That's when I started. I actually started in 2013. <laughs> but then again, um, the account I used to play on started in two, 2014. So, he's provided me with a very long love to his games. And a very long love and attraction to Roblox. Even if he has provided me with joy and love with his games, it doesn't excuse him from this. I think you're both in the wrong here, but that's just me. If you made it this far, congratulations. You actually made it to one of my videos, the end of one. Congrats for you. If you like this video, you can leave a subscribe or not. But anyways, I'll see you next time in the next video.